in this video we will see what is a join and how to do left join and right join in SQL so left join and right join are also called as left outer join and right outer join basically a join clause is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column that is we will have multiple tables in a relational database uh, it, most of the cases we will have to join different tables because data will be present in multiple tables if we take the example of a retail store the order data will be entirely present in one table the product details might be present in one table the customer details might be present in another table in, instead of uh, denormalizing the table and combining it into a single table in a relational database what we does is we create separate tables that is we normalize the table into small small different tables the normalization and the normalization of this database are a very big separate topic uh, i will come up with videos on that later so join clause is basically used to combine rows from two or more tables and in join we have like equi join and non equi joins so basically what is an equi join is whenever in a join condition we use an equal to clause that is an equi join and non equi join will be using uh, operators like greater than or equal to less than or equal to similar things when we use or not equal to similar things when we use in join condition then those joins are called as non equi joins first of all let us see what is basically a left outer join and then let us try to implement the same using sql so in our example i have created two tables which are table a and table b and then i am using a left outer join to get some result so basically in a left join what happens is we have a table a this is the table a and we have a table b this is the table b and we are joining the two tables such that the join condition is a left outer join so what happens is all the data which is present in the left table will be coming in the output along with what is common between table a and table b and the data which is not common for table a and table b and which is not present in table a will not be present in the result that is what in a left join the output will look like here if we take the example the out should output should be 1 2 3 4 and this is only the output from table a uh, and when i implement i can show you what exactly happens when we j uh, join multiple tables because ideally if we have put the star condition in the select clause we would have got two columns let me show you what is happening exactly so let us take the sql server studio so i have created two tables which are table a and table b let me query table a first sorry i did not put from yep. now we have table a the column name is column a and the data are one two three four like our example then let us query table b let us run both the query together and get the result for table a and table b this is table a and this is table b table b is having column b with data three four five six now let us join the two tables and the uh, related column which we take for join will be column a from table b table a and column b from table b obviously we only have a single column here but the same thing happens for big tables as well so what i does is i'm going to do left join select star from table a left outer join table b so As you can see, I'm joining table A with table B. I'm using left outer join. Then I have to give based on what relation we have to join the table. That is on 
table a dot column a equal table underscore b dot column b now let me run this query and see what is the result see now the result is we have both column a and column b in the result where we have all the uh, rows from column a but we don't have the row uh, row which contain 5 and 6 from column table b let me run that table b along with this one and show you see so you can see this is table b containing the data and this is the joined table which has all the data from table a plus the common elements which is present between table a and table b that is 3 and 4 and the 5 and 6 which is not present in a uh, column uh, sorry table a and which is not common to both is not present in the result but if we come back to the uh, diagram you can see that we have only one column here in order to attain this what you have to do is it depends upon the use case sometimes we might need all the columns some may, sometimes we might need only single column so in order to attain that what you have to do is table underscore a dot column underscore it now run this and you will get that result see now we have got all the results from table a without the results from table b similarly let us see what is a right join now for right join what happens is exactly opposite that to that of a left join so this is table a table b and uh, all the data which is present in table b will be available in the output plus what is common to both table a and table b then the output will contain 3 4 5 6 and the output does not contain 1 and 2 because 1 and 2 is only present in table a and which is not present in table b that is why we are not getting 1 and 2 in the output now let us run the query to get the right outer joint result. Select. St <coughs> sorry, start from table A. left outer join sorry instead of left outer join right join what we have to do is we have to give right outer join and table b on table a dot column a equals table b dot column b now let us run and see what is the result oh, there is a small mistake here there is one underscore missing yeah yeah now as you can see we have got all the data which was present in column b which is uh, column b from the table b which is three four five six three four five six and what is common between table a and table b which is 3 and 4 but not 1 and 2 because 1 and 2 is not common to both the tables and also for a right join condition we won't include the result so similar to the left join if we want a single column only column b what we have to do is we have to write table underscore b comma column underscore b which means we are fetching only column from table b if i run the query i will get 3 4 5 6 which is the column from table b now this is how we do left and outer left outer join and right outer join in sql so even if i don't use this outer join outer in the syntax we will get the same result if i remove the outer and run this 
we will get the same result the result won't be different so it's not necessary that we use outer in this index there are other joins as well like inner join there is self join then join with exclusion then there is semi join these are all different kinds of join in sql uh, and i will come up with the videos on that later thank you